Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to slice up a template that you've created inside of Photoshop so you can easily export it into a program like Adobe Dreamweaver so you can get it up onto the web. So what I have here is our original template that I used for Limitless Designs and I'm going to show you how I sliced it up from start to finish. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and zoom in here to 100% so I can see what I'm doing. Now you want to slice this up with something in mind. When you slice this and import it into Dreamweaver, every single slice is going to be a piece of a table, like that of Microsoft Excel. It actually looks like a table. Um, it doesn't have borders or anything, but it's actually Dreamweaver is looking at it as it's a table. So we don't want a web browser um, to interpret that table differently. Um, if you go to our other website, limitless-studios.com, you can see that there's a one pixel break if you use um, Firefox 3 um, in between the uh, menu across the top and the rest of the website right here. So what I've decided to do with this, and it, it turned out right, is to slice the outer edges of your document first if you have these I have these little outer glows here at the sides of my template. So I'm going to slice those from top to bottom first. That way, once it's in the table like that, um, it won't break in any web browser. So after you've got your two outside um, graphics sliced up like that, I'm going to go ahead and slice the logo here that we'll use as a um, home page link. And then I'm going to slice each of these menu bar links. Go across. I'm doing this fast for the sake of the video. Obviously, you want to take a lot more time with it. Go ahead and do that. A few more here. And one more. There we go. And now we have all that sliced up at the top and on the sides. Now for the center here. What you're going to want to do is actually slice this entire thing as one big slice where the content of your site is going to be. Now the reason you want to do this and not slice it into separate sections like you would want one section here for like a sidebar and then another section here for a title. You're going to do that all inside of Dreamweaver with tables. What you're actually going to do with this slice once you get it into Dreamweaver is you're actually going to delete it out and it's going to show the background. Uh, that Dreamweaver has rendered for you. That way you can actually type inside of this content area. So this content area right now is just a placeholder. Once we get it into Dreamweaver it's not even going to um, exist anymore. We're going to delete it out. And then from there we're going to create um, tables inside of this content area to create your sidebars, your title bars, and your content area. So after you've got this sliced up you're gonna to go to file save for web and devices and you're gonna get this document pulled up here and you can click on each slice to preview them and I would go over here and select JPEG because it's the best quality um, for a website if you have transparency you want to keep then uh, do a PNG file but I usually stick with just a JPEG and we'll keep all the settings the same and we'll go ahead and click save and I'll save it out as HTML and images now you want to click save I just saved it onto my desktop now if we go over here to our desktop it actually has that document here opened or in a web page so if we double click on that it's gonna open up inside of uh, your web browser and it may look exactly the same as it did in Photoshop but actually if you if you have Firefox 3 you can drag and you can see that actually these are sliced up so now we can go into Dreamweaver and uh, begin to create our website um, but for this video we're gonna go ahead and end it there that's how you take a web template slice it up properly so all web browsers will interpret it the same so uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.